Good morning. How's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's off to a great productive day. So I'm going to try my best to record this right here because I'm recording a screen using um, my phone. So hopefully um, it doesn't look too bad. But for those who have the Lancelot M1630 DTF printer, I'm going to show you how you go about getting more white underlaying um, ink on your transfers. And that right there will help your um, colors be more vibrant and pop on uh, darker garments. So the first thing you want to do is, once you get everything um, set up, uh, give me a second. I'm going to have to, I think I might have to cut everything on. I'm not sure. Let me see. I don't know if I have to have my printer on to, to do this. We'll see here in a second. But once you open up the color box rip, you want to go to the design that you um, want to print out. Select this um, chameleon that I just did uh, a video on the other day. So you have your design right here. Then if you go over here to the right, right here, close that out. When you first come on, it's going to be like this right here. Just to view your white underlaying, you click right there, and that's just going to just show you everything that's going to have white underlaying on. But this does not change the intensity or the strength on the white underlaying. So you go back to the colors, and this right here is where you change your brightness and your um, contrast to get your colors to pop. And for the majority of the designs that I do, on brightness, I do a negative five. And on contrast, I usually take it between 15 and 25. But you have to just play with the settings on every design. All right, so once you go to rip, then your screen is going to go to this right here. And then you go to print. So if you go to print and yours automatically prints, that's because you have it set up that way. What you want to do is um, you're going to change that setting from print to um, manually print instead of automatically printing at the rip. And then right here, it'll go into um, where you can name the file that you're gonna do. And then I hit save. Oh, I already got one. I forgot I already got it labeled. Let me, uh, I already got it in there. So let me change it to something else. Uh, example, we'll just call it example. Lizard just to give it a different name. So, then you, anyway, you're gonna hit save. So once you hit save, it's gonna rip it. So see how it's um, doing the rip process right here? So up here, you wanna go to settings and see how I went to settings, how it has uh, print options. You have print mode, you have manual print at the rip. And then you have automatic print at the rip. And then you have uh, print while rip. You want to take it off of automatic print at the rip, which is the initial setup when you first uh, get the system. Take it off of automatic print at the rip. And then uh, select manual print at the rip. And then it will go to the screen that it just, um, that it, um, just did on mine. So normally, when you have it first set up, It'll start ripping right here, and then it'll start printing as it's doing the processing right here. But you want to show, I'm going to show you again. You're going to go to settings, and then you're going to change it from automatic print at the rip to manual print at the rip. And then once you do that, it's going to have you, you know, save the file, and then it's going to stay, stay on this screen right here. And what you want to do then is you're going to go down to your um your printer to your settings section and then you'll be on this screen right here and then once you're on this screen here you want to go to um add and so you go to add and then you'll find it's either going to be um showing like this right here or it's going to be up and down showing um the file that you just saved and remember I saved it as um, example lizard. So then I click on it and then I open it. 
then your screen is going to go like this. Don't worry about it being upside down. It's just showing you the way that it's going to um, print it out on the actual printer. Okay. And if you want more passes, which is going to give you uh, more color, then you will change this setting right here. See where it says pass right here? Right there where it says pass. You can change this right here and do more passes. Now, um, let me remind you. The more passes you do, the more ink it's going to use and the more um the more time it's going to take to print the design out. And that's the same thing with the um the underlaying of the white. The um higher the setting, the more ink it's going to utilize and the um longer it's going to take to um print it out. So, if you just want your colors to be a more richer um color, then you can do more passes. It's, um, when you first um, get the program set up, it's always set at 6. And then you have the option to do 12, 18, 24. After changing the um, white underlaying, you really don't have to um, mess with these settings too much because your colors are going to be um, brighter on dark garments by making your white underlaying um, darker. So but that's right. that right here is um, this right here is where you would change those um, settings right there if you want your colors to... Um, be a, a richer color but to me it's kind of pointless um, once you change the underlaying of the white paint now to change the underlaying of the white paint to um, make it the strength stronger you'll go to advance right here so you click on the icon advance and then it come to this screen right here the only thing you want to mess with is advanced configure so you click on the um, the menu screen here and this screen will come up and what you want to do you have your color code right here. So see everything at 100%. You have all your colors, your red, your blue, your yellow, your white. You want to go to white and it's um, originally going to be set at 1 right here. All you want to do is change that 1 into a 2. And then you have 200% white underlaying, which is good enough. And that right there is pretty much all you need. But like I said... You will utilize more white ink and it will take a little longer to um, print a design out. Not much longer, but you are using more of the white ink. And then once you um, set this to two, it will stay set to two all the time. If you want to change it back to um, one, then you have to go through the same steps and change it back to one. But this is where you change the um, white under um, laying right here. Then all you have to do from this screen right here is go and um, hit print. And then your design will start to um, the print out. So hopefully this um, quick video was um, helpful. You get more white underlaying on your um, transfers using the uh, Lancelot M1630 DTF printer and using the Colorbox Rip software.